When we had last left, Team Bald, they traveled out to the eerily named Dead Man's Pass, where they encountered all manner of peculiar sights. Yes, like two animalistic adventurers, a cool unicorn horn, and of course, who could forget this peculiar couple in a bind who were selling some mostly garbage wares. Now it was time to continue exploring around Dead Man's Pass before returning back to the place with the big tree and the hole in the ground. This is Baldur's Gate, Siege of Dragon Spear. Welcome back. Let's unhide all that and do exactly that. Should we travel up this way a little bit further? I think so. I've got this. Let's see what's up here before we rest. I think we got at least one more encounter in us before needing to... Oh, shit. Mkeen is totally slowed in a major fucking way. That's fine, though. All right, let's also launch out a webbing over here. I'll recover. There are Etten's present. That's probably fine. Yeah, they are susceptible to getting fucked up by our weird shit, I think. Okay. Yeah, they're getting webbed up. Beautiful. And let's make sure everyone is attacking. There we are. Cool. Not too bad. All right. There we are. Let's take all these goodies. Stash them in our stash bags. Lovely. And maybe we even got another... Another encounter in us. I'm not sure. Yeah, we've got one more cast of web, which is our real... It's our real odometer for how many encounters we've got you left. How many casts of crowd control we have remaining. Let's see, I've accidentally walked everyone into the goop, despite my best Don't efforts. Oh shit. Ogre berserkers. Okay. I've got this. Let's fall back here. Oh dear. They're activating their berserkers mode. Let's throw in some webbing. Get the rest of the team up here. Did we get them? You want it? You got it. Or is their berserker rage compelling them through everything? Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. It's fine. Let's throw some silence back there, I guess. How about also an insect plague? Why not? Good. And we could also throw in... How about... We could try to scare them. Should we... Should we... Frighten them? I don't know. Let's shoot a ball at that... Dude right there. Oh, fuck. I shall. Did you just instantly obliterate them? Oh, I did. How? How did we kill that ogre mage? How did I deal 20 slashing damage from all the way down here? Was I actually up there? Was, was this some weird, like, trick of the light? Here comes 300 pounds of justice! I shall. Oh gosh, swap back to your ranged dinner here. Okay. Reactivate that. That is one of the downsides of casting the minute meteors, is that it completely makes dinner here go fucking buck wild. Like, she's just going point blank throwing meteors at people. She's like fucking dunking meteors down onto them. <laughs> she's like doing slam dunks right onto their fucking domes. Alright, good. Just like magically levitating and all that. Incredible. Oh gosh. Also, everyone is incredibly stuck. There we are. Let's at least get these for the gem bags. Lovely. McKean got a level. Let's tend to that. What all did we get? No points to invest. Let's see. 
Additional level 4 and 5 spells. 2 HP. Meh. I guess that's alright. Cool. Oh, shit. Oh, we learned some new ones. We get at least one new one. For level 2? Okay. Oh, what should we learn? Charm, person, or mammal? That seems nice. Good berry? Wow, the berries only restore 1 HP, though. That's actually horrible. <laughs> okay, I think uh, charm, person, or mammal is the one to go with. Alright. And then here... Oh, wow, fuck. Okay. Miscast magic? Any spellcasting creature that is affected by this spell has its abil casting ability severely disabled. 80% chance of failure. Ah. Invisibility purge, that seems like a must-have. That seems very important. Now that we have encountered Invisidudes, I feel like having Invisibility Purge at the ready is going to be imperative. I'm taking it. Okay, and then level four. Protection from lightning. Huh. That could be useful. Death Ward. Cloak of Fear. Okay. Is this enemies only? Cloak of Fear empowers the caster to radiate a personal aura of fear out to a 15-foot radius. All other care... Okay. Never mind. No good. We could get just cause serious wounds. Maybe that. Because that is the thing. Our level 4 spells... Well... Now, we do quite often use Cure Serious Wounds, so let's get Protection from Lightning. Something more situationally useful. Well, Death Ward is pretty cool, too. That's also very situationally useful. You know what? Let's go with that. It's even more situational than Protection from Lightning, but the situation that calls for Death Ward is way more important to answer than the situation that calls for Protection from Lightning, I think. Oh, man. We're getting everything, huh? Priest scroll level 5. Iron skins. When a druid casts this powerful spell upon herself, an outer skin of iron will move up from the ground, completely covering her. This skin is, of course, magical and will hinder the druid in no way. The effect of this is to protect the druid from physical attacks such as melee weapons and projectiles. For every two levels of the caster, an additional skin is gained upon casting. For example, a 10th level druid would receive five skins. For each skin the druid possesses, this is really disgusting sounding, the spell will stop one attack. So a 10th level druid would be protected from the first five attacks made against her, but the sixth would affect her normally. The skin will remain on the druid until, oh god, until she is affected by a dispel magic. All of the skins are removed due to physical attacks, or the spell's duration expires. It is important to note that this will not protect the druid from any area attacks, such as fireball. However, it will protect her from physical magical attacks, such as magic missile. Hmm. True seeing. Like, Iron Skins does sound really good. It sounds like the equivalent of the stone skin or whatever we have on dinner here, which is also really good. True seeing. Instantly and once each round for one turn after true seeing is cast, all hostile illusion slash phantasm spells in a 120 foot radius around the caster will be dispelled. The spells affected are reflected image, invisibility, mirror image, non detection, improved invisibility, shadow door, mislead, project image, and simulacrum. The target's magic resistance, if any, does not affect this. Holy shit. Okay. I mean, that's really good for us because we don't even make use of them. It affects friendlies, but we don't use them, so no problem. Man, as it turns out, the higher level spells are pretty good, huh? <laughs> okay, Mass Cure. Hmm. Yeah. This is exactly what you would think. Heals wounds. Oh, it actually doesn't remove, like, poison or disease, though. 
Wait. When casting this spell, the priest must picture the faces of her fellow party members clearly and focus on the unity of the group. <laughs> upon completion, upon this focusing, <laughs> all party members within a 15-foot radius of the caster are healed 1d8 plus 1 per level of hit points. Is that one extra die or one extra max roll on the die? I would assume one extra die, but I don't know. Curing is permanent, yeah. Same as usual, magical resistance. Oh, dear. I think we just go with iron skins. I mean, this seems good too, right? Especially now that we're getting higher level. I don't know. I think iron skins is the way to go, though. It's just so defensively useful. Okay, cool. There we are. Once the shit wears off, uh, let's also grab all the potions we can. And make sure Keen is not encumbered. Oh, look. Oh, no, wait, you are encumbered. Okay, my bad. If you equip that, are you good? No. Okay, we'll just stash it in our super sack. Okay. And who else would want some of these standard healing potions? Dinner here. And Corwin for a little bit. There we go. Great. Okay. And I'll stash the rest in our potion case. All right. And blur. Magic does not nest well in a tired mind. Ah, I must sleep. Okay. Now let's sleep. Quick save just in case. Hey, wow. We actually did not get attacked. So is Amkeen now going to cast like... Yeah, iron skins. Fuck yes. Okay. Sure. Is this actually a, a hole? No. I've got this. Okay, let's continue looking around up this way. Pop a quick save. Oh, there's a wild boar. There's several, I think. Yeah, there's like a whole flock of wild boar. There we go. Don't worry about me. Good. Oh, whoops, we have fist on him. Don't worry about me. Okay. Deer, wolves. Jesus. <laughs> so look over at that. There's a pheasant here, as well as like the body of a slain hobo goblin. What the hell? Whoa. Look at all these slain hobo goblins around here. What's going on? Shambling mound. Oh, another one of these. Oh god, there's a bunch. Okay. Let's web them up. Oh, shit. Nymphs. A homodryad. What is a homodryad? Is it just like a really hot, like, sexy dryad? Like a... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it, you know? <laughs> no one saw that. <laughs> Alright. Sorry. Sorry, dryads of the Ow. wild. Oh my gosh. The Shambling Mound is fucking us up. Big style. Oh my gosh, she's toast. Alright, let's quick load. We know that there's... There's enemies abound. Don't worry about me. Okay, let's get adequately positioned. Toss out a quick buff here. Why not? Anything else we should do? We could do, like, protection from evil, but I don't know if dryads are considered evil. I feel like they're more neutral. There we go. We could speed up our right now. people in the past. More than you might believe. But this is the best team ever. There we are. And let's get that webbing out right away. I'm looking forward to this. Okay. I guess the Shambling Mounds are probably evil. They seem evil, but I'm not sure entirely. Ha! My aim is true. There we go. Yeah, look, the Dryads 
taking no damage from any of that. Okay. Let's also throw in an insect plague. You think they're immune to bugs or something because of their dry dryadic nature? Jeez, look at them go. Running all over the fucking place. And look, now we're all getting CC'd too. Holy shit. Okay, maybe we should have really buffed up. Look at this. This is like kind of a fresh hell. Should we go after the nymph? Maybe. Uh oh. That did not work. I'm like obliterating Corwin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Everyone's like completely disintegrated and everything. Let's quick load. <laughs> okay. Wow. So the these motherfuckers are not fucking around. Okay. Sure. Let's get speed. There we are. And let's get enraged. Cool. We could also do like protection from evil. Well, like I said, I don't think that'll really do much in this situation. Okay. There you we want are. it? You got it. Let's immediately go for the nymph. I think. Already a ghost. Oh shit. Hell yeah. Did we get them already? No, yes. No, no. Now get the Hamana Dryad and then the others. Look, that's all we needed, just some target prioritization. You're already a ghost. You're already a ghost! <laughs> go, go, Thanks, go. I'm keen. There we go. Name. Good. That went so much better. Let's take this amulet, give it a quick look. Oh, it looks fun. Heart of the Mountain. Okay. Isn't this like a common item in uh, Morrowind? Or am I tripping balls? <laughs> I want to say this is from Morrowind, but it might be from something else. Heart of the Mountain. Or maybe it's from a lot of things, you know? During a skirmish bet between a powerful water elemental and a powerful earth elemental, a tiny fragment of the latter broke off. An orc, fleeing the site of the battle, snatched the fragment up as she ran. This she gave to her tribe shaman who immediately recognized its power and fashioned it into an amulet. The heart of the mountain is of particular use to those who do the ghost dance. <laughs> Such folk dwell at least partly in the realm of the spirits. An amulet, the amulet forges a stronger t connection twixt them and the earth, lending its wearer strength in the face of physical adversity. Oh, AC plus two. Summon spirits gain 10 HP. So this is an amulet for Umkeen. But you're already wearing one. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this one is way better. This old one. The Circlet of Lost Souls. Two Thacko. One caster level. Summon spirits also constantly under the effects of a bless spell. That's okay, but the other two bonuses are really wild. I mean, two armor class isn't too bad. And it does stack. But I feel like we're not... Alright, maybe this is the distinction. Like, if you're playing Umkeen more ranged, then the Circlet of Lost Souls is better. But if you're more, like, up in it, Heart of the Mountain is the way to go. Right. And also, hey, maybe there's a chance that you are playing Don't a shaman. About me. Just so happens. Okay. Oh god. I would like to quick save, but there are all these screaming with magic a plants. I've people in the past. More than you might believe. But this is the best team ever. Okay. Anything over here? Oh, a cave bear. Oh, there it is. Go, go, go! Ha! My aim is true. Oh. Fine bear skin. The thick hide from an enormous oh. bear. What the hell? Should I take it? I'm taking it. Oh! Helvdar's lucky charm. I can bring this bear skin to Quartermaster Belagarm. Whoa, okay. Cool. 
I've got this. Well, we got incredibly lucky with that. <laughs> oh, bombardier beetles. Let's go, fuck them up. Cover. Oh, we still got our speed and everything. There we go. Let's also try a webbing. In Baravar's name! Ha! My aim are. is true. In fact, well, we're just kind of chilling here. Let's ready a sequencer. There we go. Great. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez, my camera. Okay. Yeah, magic missile and... Get one of those and a web. Done. Oh, God. There we are. Okay. Is there actually anything of value out here? Nah, I don't think so. Look, I'm deaf for some reason. Did I get, like, webbing in my ears or some shit? I've got this. At least now I won't have to hear Glint. <laughs> okay. Let's see, over here. An oddly shaped tree. Oh, shit! A warg and orrog. Okay. Let's launch some bullshit over there. <laughs> I fucking love it. Okay, great. Let's go after this one. So these were not hobo goblins. These were all orogs all along. Okay. Let's see, Glint, throw in your holy smite. These things don't look human. They must be evil. <laughs> they don't look anything like us. They must be evil. There we go. Good. Oh, shit. Dinner here Whatever is back in, like, wings. fucking the WWE. Okay. I've got this. Let's grab all this junk. Some good junk, though. Okay, gem bags. Get all that stashed up. More potions. Potion for me. Another gem. Good. Oh my gosh. So many potions here. Alright. And let's get these other items on dinner here. Whenever she gets uncc'd. Okay. Sure, so this must be from the other fork in the road, right? Yeah, right here. Oh, fuck. Oh my gosh! Orog Marauder is here to battle! Wow. Was it in stealth the whole fucking time? Oh shit, yeah, they're out here, dude. Okay, Glint, throw down a holy smite, because I think I see one right here next to this groundhog. Or that is the groundhog. Fuck, I think that is true. <laughs> that was the groundhog. <laughs> I thought it was another one, and the groundhog was up slightly higher. <laughs> but no, it was just a groundhog. <laughs> Alright. Well, the groundhog lives to see another day. There we are. And now let's get these items to ID, and... Move these potions into our storage. Alright. A girdle. The protector of the unworthy. Oh. Girdle of blades. The most infamous owner of this item forever tainted its reputation. Though it is still a truly useful item. Morindin of the Wicked Heart made his living looting the bodies of those he slew. Wait. That's what we do. <laughs> we we mostly do that, too. That's where most of our money comes from. I mean, sure, we get a little bit from questing, but most of it comes from that. <laughs> he would goad true warriors into duels of honor, though he had little knowledge of the subject, and laugh as their blades glanced off him. Eventually, he met his end at the hands of a frustrated woodsman, who had wisely cast his sword aside in favor of a tree stump. What the hell kind of a woodsman are you? You're able to just rip up a tree stump and start swinging it around? Armor class plus four versus slashing. Minus four versus crushing. 
Huh. May only be removed by a remove curse spell. Weird. That is fascinating. Okay. So for some we reason, we end up fighting like a super swordsman. Maybe we should keep that in mind. Or like some someone who does slashing and but not crushing. Huh. There's no way I'm going to remember to use that. <laughs> Let's be honest, there's, that's such a specific item, there's no way I'm going to remember. All right. You want it? You've got it. Let's see over here. Good. The only way I'm going to remember is if this being is so difficult that we end up dying, like, time after time again to them. And I'm finally like, oh, shit, we've got a really cool girdle. <laughs> okay. Bombardier beetles. Destruction! Let's get them. All right, this will be a small pull because we already got like a majority of them earlier. Don't worry about from like me. our vantage point. Okay, so here is this trap door. Hmm. Should we circle around up here again, real quick? I think so. We'll explore the. Oh, look! Yeah, see, what there's a person here. Now? Oh. Hoy there! You looking for the crusade too? I am. Look for the crusade? Do you think me mad? Do not speak to me, mercenary. I am. They say the Shining Lady pays. Hey, I know you. You're Lila Schnub. You slew Saravok and drove Corlage out of that crypt. You cost me everything. Ah, I mean, it was just a job, you know. Not a big deal. I'll find another. Don't want no trouble. I'll leave you to your business if you'll leave me to mine. All right? With a W? What? Corlage was from I the very this. beginning of this. Okay. I mean, I'm probably not going to kill them just... <laughs> just openly. That seems almost like what it was egging us on to do. You want it? You've got it. All right. Maybe if we were an evil character. Oh, shit. Hill giants. Okay. Let us throw down some webbing immediately. Good. Hill giant leader. Fine. Are hill giants evil? I feel like they're neutral. I'm going to throw down a holy smite, though, because I bet the dire wolves are evil. Because they're dire. No. I don't wait. Yeah, they did take. Yeah, they are evil. Why are they evil? <laughs> Why are hill giants evil? <laughs> they seem like they're just neutral at best or at worst. Okay, let's take care of business here. Should we also throw out a grease? Why not? Good. Let's get some bless going on too. And over this way, what else do we have? We could throw out, like, an insect plague down here. Why not? Oh, shit, I got webbed up in my own blast web. All right. Well, we're clearing them up, anyhow. And web is so good, huh? It is ridiculously powerful. Is this just, like, the go-to combo that everybody uses in this game? Or, or is there, like, a different one that everybody mostly uses? Because this is just, like, such an easy answer to maybe 90% of encounters. Okay. Alright, there we are. Let's take the money. You want it? Good. You got it. Don't worry about me. Alright. Great. Should we rest up? No, we can't. Well, we could, but I don't want to risk it. Just in case we wake up to a whole bunch of hill giants or something. Yeah, let's just heal up. Let's just toss some manual heals out. There we go. Okay. It's probably good for now. I've got this. 
All right. Squirrel is still greased up. It's a really greasy squirrel, like, slipping all over the place. But over here. Can't even climb the tree. It just slides back down in, like, a cartoonish fashion. You know, it sounds like um, a squeaky window. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay. Do a quick save, and we'll head on this very foreboding-looking trail. Yeah, what the fuck is this going to lead to? Oh, shit, super spiders. Okay. Well. What the hell do I do here? Hmm. Go, chromatic orb. Now, are spiders evil? I feel like spiders should be evil. There we go. Good. What else can we toss out here? Is a spider a mammal? I don't think so, right? I don't, yeah, I don't think so. Like, in what world is that? Oh shit, Corwin is totally using the wrong equipment there. Ha! My aim is true. No wonder she got fucked up. She's like preferring right. melee weapons right now. <laughs> okay. Go for the gargantuan Ouch. spider. Go long. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. No. Oh no, Corwin! Alright, let's quick load. I don't want to deal with, like, resurrecting and then moving all your shit around. <laughs> it's, it's less of a hassle to just load and fuck up the spiders like normal. Alright, there we go. I've got this. Good. I'm starting to think we ditched the chromatic orb. Right? Like, it's- it's not- it's not that good. You know? I feel like I'm really favoring the... everything else. <laughs> you know, like, it does deal damage, doesn't it? Yeah. I guess maybe the issue is that it just doesn't seem as cool. Like, it one-shot that fucking spider, huh? Yeah, maybe it is good. <laughs> it literally one-shot it. That said, it, it only had like 12 health or whatever. You want it? You got it. Oh fuck! What is this super spider den? Oh dear lord! Look, it's so foreboding that it's like literally glowing. <laughs> the entry point. <laughs> All right. Well, that can't be good. Can we heal up here without causing a ruckus? Hey, no ruckus. All right. Let's head on in. Don't worry about me. I really me. should have changed your spells you around. Gather your party before venturing forth. Uh oh. I've got. Hey, this, this looks familiar. Okay, there's like a poor wallaby wraith spider. Okay. Let's get them greased up. Oh, look at their nasty spider tree. Okay. Ooh, listen to them. Oh, they sound fucked up and nasty. Fight if you must, but you're not okay. winning this. You want Can we pull some more spiders through? Ooh! Look, good thing we did that. Is there gonna be like a ultra spider here? Face me, ultra spider. <gasps> oh, it's Neo Otiug. What the fuck? Killer Mimic. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> oh Jesus, men's evasive maneuvers. No! Okay, oh. lead him back into the grease. Lead him back into the grease. Jesus, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> that didn't go how I was expecting. I mean, I was expecting a, a booby trap, but not like that. are. Good. Okay, let's get some blessings going on. Great. Let's also haste up because whatever that was looked fucked up. Do we got, uh, where's our protection from evil? There we are. Cool. 
Okay, and then let's also throw out some healing onto Minsk real quick. There we are. Lovely. Let's get you healed up a bit more. Throw that out. Okay. Don't worry about me. Cool. And then let's also do a self heal too, real quick. It does seem pretty rough. Like it was whooshy, like some sort of weird spiritual magical creature. Uh oh, there it is. What the hell is it? Look at its weird, like, it's got like strange tentacles. Yeah, it's like some weird, disgusting flesh beast. What the hell? Is this tied to the last weird fucked up thing? Same as with these ochre jellies. They're all like in in it together. Just a slew of Halloween horrors. At least the jellies are susceptible to spiders web. Okay. How deadly is this mimic gonna be? Destruction! Ruin! Oh my god. Okay. It's pretty fucking deadly, I think. There we go. Good. Oh, it reverted back into a treasure chest. Like this be beat. You've got it. Don't worry about me. Holy shit. Now here's the real question. With that mimic, I didn't even click on it, did I? Or maybe I did. I'm just tripping major balls. But would it have been possible I've got this. for like in the moment? Would Glint have been able to detect that there was something awry with that chest? and been able to not only detect that, but potentially even oh. disarm it? Because it is technically like a trap. It's a booby trap. But you is it disarmable? It. I would assume not. In a right? Tick. Maybe even I should assume that you can't this. even detect it. I don't know. But that said, Glint didn't detect it, but I did. <laughs> right? That was a very obvious booby Magic trap, does not huh? Nest well in a tired mind. Okay, let's see what's inside. Uh, I must sleep. Oh, looks like some shit for dinner, or er, for Corwin. Longbow, some arrows. Okay, are these like the, yeah, arrow of anti-magic, wow. Arrow plus three, yo, okay. These enchanted missiles far surpass the craftsmanship of any arrow, magical or otherwise, you have ever seen. <gasps> Oh my gosh. And longbow. Bow of the Banshee. A wooden face carved mid-scream stares out from the shaft of this hardwood bow. It's whispered that the half-orc archer, Zavruk, had an elven soul bound into the bow. But the bow's lack of a necromantic aura casts doubt on the story. What's certain is that the bowstring makes a horrible screeching noise whenever fired, instilling fear in the wielder's enemies. Whoa. 10% chance, per, chance per hit of casting Cloak of Fear centered on the wielder. Deals one extra point of magic damage to panic targets. Weird. Plus three Thacko, plus two damage. Oh, that's odd. Is that even better than your current weapon, though? Hmm. Oh, it is. Well? Is it? Because, look, the Thacko and damage are, like, equivalent, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not sure now. All right, well, nonetheless, let's move some of these other arrows up and out. Get them used. There we go. Okay. Let's see. So where are the stat changes? You get better Thacko. You lose one AC because of the loss on dex. You lose one point of damage. Hmm. But you do gain the one point of magic damage. And of course you lose out on the entangle. Honestly, I feel like... <sighs> we lose out on one Thacko by not using this. But I feel like the benefits... 
outweigh that Thacko because already Corwin is landing so many hits and so rapidly, you know? And, like, I much prefer... Yeah, like, is Cloak of Fear going to affect our own people as well? It says instilling fear in the wielder's enemies, but doesn't Cloak of Fear specify that it will fuck up our own people as well? Or maybe I'm tripping balls about that. Let's see. Yeah, all other creatures, or characters and creatures. Oh, party members are immune to the effects. Although the aura of fear may still disturb them? What does that mean? It may disturb them? Hmm. Man, I'm not sure. It's really close. That was a full day's work. Hmm. You know what? Let's just get them both. Oh, launcher of the same type already equipped. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that was an ordeal. Okay. Yeah, let's give it a shot. We'll see. Bow of the Banshee. It is a longbow. She's skilled. At, yeah, at longbows. Okay. Wow, the strength required is only six. That's wild. Okay. Speed factor is lower. Is low speed factor good? I think it is. Let's see. Yeah, it must be. Okay, because our two-hander is, like, through the roof, as far as speed factor is concerned. Done and done. Arrow of Dispelling, yep. More good arrows. Fantastic. You know what? Here, let's... Let's create, like, a barrier of scrolls here and put the two good arrows right here on the far right of the inventory. Okay. Good. You want it? You now, was there it. anything else in here? Huh. Trying to scan around for any clickables. I don't think so. And this weird creature did not give us anything either. Weird. Okay. Sure. You know, we are still carrying around male body. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that, but we are carrying it around. Maybe it will come in handy eventually. You want it? You got it. <laughs> hey, maybe this is another one of those weird reagents, you know, one of those weird and wacky reagents for the golden pantaloons or whatever. Well, no, because that was... That, that doesn't include shit from this expansion, does it? Those are from the core games. Don't worry about me. Okay. Should we rest out here? I think we should. That was actually, like kind of harrowing let's replace our chromatic orb with magic missile because a magic missile may do less damage but it's really cool looking and that's far more important to me <laughs> that is far more important hmm how about how about other shit? You know, how about some other shit here? What, what, what about, like, all this? Stone skin. Secret word. No, it is actually pretty useful, isn't it? How about sunfire? This does deal damage to everybody, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It would be cool, but I don't know. It's a little dangerous, and we don't really need it at the moment. We're not desperate enough to need something so dangerous. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Whoa! What the fuck? The hobo goblins want it? are like it. blasting us from the fucking ledge. Okay. I think we just dropped the bomb. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Alright, good. 
I've got this. Should we go investigate that hobo goblin area? Real quick over here. Maybe. There is a smidgen of fog of war right here. Do you think it's worth clearing out? Probably. What well, if there's just like one weirdo over here who's got like an amazing item? There's not. <laughs> there's definitely, definitely, definitely not. Can't even speak. You want it? You got it. <laughs> okay, let's take all this. Take that scroll. Pass that over. Good. You want it? Okay. Got it. Now, let's clear out this last little bit of fog of war, I think, right there. Right? Yeah. Can we actually cross right here, too? No, I don't think we can. Huh. Let's do a quick save. We can have dinner here, Scout. Very dangerous to have the mage do this, but, uh... Hey, she's the one with a speedy ability. Okay. Yeah, looks like we're all good. Let's check over at that fog of war real quick. Quick saving again in case there's, like, respawns on the road. Any such thing? Ooh. Oh, it's a tree. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure. Now let's check out the trap door. Does this lead down to where we need to go, though? Hmm. Let's check it for booby traps or anything. Nope. Looks good. You want it? You got it. Quick save, and me. down we go. Oh! Unsleeping Guardian. And five shadows. Okay. I hope they can get fucked up by wizard's power. Just immediately upon entering this area as well, they laugh at us in a very sinister way. Okay, how about... We throw down some silence, too. Oh, wow. They can get webbed. <laughs> awesome. Okay, great. Love that. Holy smite. Uh-oh. What happened to dinner here? Oh, she got webbed in her own schmeb. Okay. Let's get some more of those holy smites rolling. There we are. And let's try a magic missile right there. Pop that off. Beautiful. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, another shadow. Is there something back here? Is that what that is? I'm gonna cast another Holy Smite here just in case. Because it looks like there's some sort of creature hidden right there. Okay, yeah, let's do another one as well. This will not work. I must try a different tech. And I'm going to have. Oh yeah, look, we're totally hitting some other shit here. Okay. Let's get it greasy over that way. Hmm. Some of these look like they're dudes, you know? <laughs> some of these totally look like they could be dudes. How do we attack them, though? Huh. Uh, we've got our Dispel Invisibility now, though, don't we? Yeah. Or Invisibility Purge? How the hell do I even use it? Okay. Yeah. Did it work? My eyelids is it, is it are working? as heavy as lead, or steel, or gold. Oh, let's say gold. What I mean is, I'm tired. I think we're good. Look, none of these grease spills are moving. That's got to be a good sign. Okay. Cool. 
Right. That is booby trapped. Fair enough. With flare. Anything locked. Crate is. Okay. I don't really want to open it in case it activates another round. I'm just going to hang out here for the grease to fade away and then we'll heal up or we'll quick save at least. There we go. Good. Okay. What's inside? An amulet. Two scrolls. Dinner here, you want these? One of them you do want. Conjure lesser fire elemental. Is this just like a fiery version of the earth one from before? It looks like it. Okay. Cool. We got it. And then we'll stash that. All right. Good. And let's ID this necklace. An amulet of whispers. The Archmage Ulcaster enjoyed making long speeches in front of his students, filibustering on any number of subjects from arcane theory to the ethics of conjuration. Most of his students enjoyed the, the lectures, but one of his pupils decided that he would personally stand up to interrupt the stream of words from Ulcaster's mouth. At the next lecture, the lecture, the pupil stood up and shouted, I won't listen to you any longer! To his horror, no sound issued from his throat. Ulcaster had twisted the chain of an amulet he wore, which rendered every student in the lecture hall utterly silent. The archmage was unaffected, and so carried on his lecture uninhibited. Equipped abilities vocalize. Charge abilities silence 15-foot radius once per day. What is vocalize? Does it increase like the radius of your your bullshit? Hmm. We do have the amplifier, which is quite nice. Vocalize. Oh fuck. How do you even check what it does? Yeah, how do you <laughs> Hang on, how do you tell? <laughs> Do we know vocalize? Do we have it as like a learned spell? Can we somehow discern what it means by way of looking through here? Like, does it increase the range or something? Huh. Is it a priest something or the other? Vocalize. Hmm. I don't think so. I have no idea what it is. What would the opposite of silence be? Maybe you cast it faster? Which would be nice. I would actually prefer that to an extra single second level wizard spell, I think. What's on second level? Oh fuck, web. Oh, web is really nice. But I guess it's not necessary, because we can always rest. We haven't had a situation where we need to use all of them. What the fuck? Something just wore off. You want off. it? You've got it. Okay, we'll take this. And, oh, spider silk. What did we need that for, Nira? No. This silvery gray webbing is from a giant spider. Okay. I believe it. I guess we'll pass it over to Minsk. Oh, you know what? Maybe we got vocalized in one of these scroll containers. Let's see here. No, nothing there. Vocalize. Nope. Vocalize. No, I didn't see anything. Okay. Well, she is also drained. Extraordinary. What's our rejuvenate? Right, that's what we need to counter the drain. Huh. How oh, do we not know it? We don't have it currently set anywhere. Spiritual clarity? Hmm. 
No. That ain't it. Okay. Let's see. It's like rejuvenate tier one or some shit, right? Hmm. Lesser restoration. Oh, look, we already used it. Okay. Man, we must have got hit heavy. Let's do a quick save. We'll rest. There we are. Good. And then throw out one of them. Oh, wait, she doesn't need it anymore. Oh, it faded away. Huh, good. Okay. Yeah, is there any way to tell what Vocalize does? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to look it up. Don't worry okay. about me. Yeah, maybe in between videos right here, I'll look it up, right? Why not? And then we can head on back from... Well, no, we need to head back to Belagarm and all of that because we have the bear pelt. And someone may need the spider silk, but I don't think we know who, or at the very least we didn't get a quest update. Maybe we can smith it into something at the um, special smither that we had found at Bridgefort, who is now at the coalition camp. That's probably a good idea. So we meet up with that person and Belagarm. Right? Good plan. Great plan. Until next time, please take care of each other.